Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do competitor research on LinkedIn ads. And this is super useful, especially if you're in the B2B space or the SaaS space. I'm gonna show you on my screen how we do this and some of the techniques we use. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna include a free cheat sheet to our favorite LinkedIn ads that we've scraped over time and use for inspiration when we're building ad campaigns for our clients who are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars a month on LinkedIn ads. So definitely a good leg up on the competition. So I'm gonna jump into my screen in three, two, one. All right, so now for the fun part and just some quick background. I'm Lewis Mudrich. I run a digital ads agency and am the co-founder in, in advertising software. We also manage hundreds of thousands of dollars per month for clients on LinkedIn ads. So I know a thing or two about what works on the platforms. And in this video, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let's go ahead and find your competitors on LinkedIn ads and see what they're up to as an advertising strategy. So first things first, go ahead and search your competitor's name in this little search box. You'll see their company page. Go ahead and click on their company page, which will take you somewhere like you know this page right here. Uh, I'm not a competitor of Zapier, but I really love their tool, so I'm going to look into what they're doing on a paid ads front. Once you're on the competitor's page or just any market leader, scroll down to the post section. And on the post section, you're actually going to click on the tab that says at. Now, there's a few different ways to use this information, and there's one extra way I'm going to show you, like a little quick secret tip. So the first way to use this is obviously looking at at the visual creatives that your competitors are using. What kind of verbiage are they using in their visuals? What do they look like? What's the look and feel of things? What's the main call to action? It would really give you a nice idea of what might be working for them particularly so you can build that better version and use it for your own company. That's the first way to use this information. Now the second way is to look into the verbiage and the actual ad text copy inside the ad itself and see what they're saying, if they're doing long form or short form ad copy, like Zapier's doing a lot of short form here, and they're pushing a lot of people to the different features that they offer, whether it's access control, or if it's going to be more enterprise features like um, single sign-on or unlimited teams. And this is a lot of what they're doing because probably on the B2B platform, they can really target by company size much better than you can do on Facebook ads. So that's probably why a lot of these ads are resonating a lot with more enterprise type customers. So that's the second way to use this information. So just for fun, I always go to some of the market leaders, of course. So looking at Google's ads, they're obviously gonna have a nice diverse array of ads. They have so many different products. So this will give you some nice inspiration. So this is probably my favorite part about looking at a competitor's ads funnel, specifically from LinkedIn ads, is seeing their landing pages and where they're driving traffic because this will tell you what elements and components and offers they're using to get people to take a more higher intent action such as booking a call, jumping on a course, jumping on a demo, things like that. So you can see what kind of components they're using. Obviously Google is gonna have a great landing page of course, and you don't need all these bells and whistles, but you can see also where your competitors are lacking. So I pulled a few other ads and I saw someone just had a very basic landing page with just a form with a bunch of fields and no real urgency or reason for me to actually opt in. So you can see if they're lacking on the landing page level. This is actually one of the best tools to use in order to convert higher intent traffic while LinkedIn lead ads will get you lower intent cheap leads sending traffic to a landing page and getting them to actually book a call or opt in there is already a natural barrier they have to break through because you can't just one tap to opt in they have to go on the page and make a bigger commitment and book a demo there so it's still valuable to send people to site traffic I actually have another video I think you should really check out where I tear down the best and worst SaaS ads because in the SaaS space there's a lot to learn from on the landing page level. So check that link in the description and I'll show you a lot of components of what you should have and what you shouldn't have on a landing page. So in short, I hope you got some value to this video and before I let you go, I have one more thing I want to cover. So since I got some extra time in this video, it was super fast. Quick plug, if you need help with LinkedIn ads, B2B or SaaS, um, financial, we do that sometimes too as well. Feel free to reach out to us. We get some really, really great results for our clients. Um, we have a lot of video testimonials about people working with us, some case studies, and you know, just a lot of cool stuff that people had to say about working with us and the results we're able to get with them. Um, we're offering free strategy calls, so feel free to book that, lock that in, and I'd be more than happy to give you some guidelines and ideas 
ideas and also best practices to use before you jump headfirst into your advertising campaigns. If you found this video valuable, please like, subscribe, and comment. And so that you get notified in the next video I upload, click the bell so that it'll automatically send it to your YouTube channel or wherever uh, that there's a new upload out. Thanks again for watching. My name is Lewis, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.